soaked. <laughs> Lightscape is a highly anticipated once-a-year event in Melbourne, Australia, where the city's Royal Botanical Garden transforms into a magnificent show of illuminary delight. Last year was an absolute sellout, and now it's back bigger and better. Join me as I embark on a mesmerizing journey and uncover the magic of Lightscape. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us this year. Now without further ado, let's start at the very beginning. As I enter the gardens, the path ahead subtly laid up, guiding me deeper into this charming world. Soon enough, the show unveiled its first jaw-dropping display, and from there, it just kept getting better. The crisp air fades away as you get lost in the enchanting glow around you. The term Nura signifies place or country, and each luminous pillar highlights a profound First Nations memory with intricate detail. At times you catch glimpses of the upcoming exhibits from afar, like that UFO-looking thing in the distance, adding to the intrigue and excitement. And believe me, there's always something incredible around the corner, keeping you on your toes. What I love about Lightscape is that it's the perfect remedy for those chilly winter nights. The anticipation builds with every step, as I eagerly await the next installation to surprise me. Of course, no adventure is complete without a quick stop for some mulled wine. Warm and cozy, it's the perfect companion to embrace the full experience. Everything is so pretty. Oh, I just spilled my mulled wine. <laughs> Everything is so pretty, it's so beautiful. There's so many pretty lights, so many people here. Uh, at least it's not raining today, which is really good. Because it was raining this morning. <sighs> Old wine. There's fire over there. Look at that. How pretty. Wow. Look, I'm no fire expert, but this installation had me wondering, how on earth did they pull this off? Despite a bit of wind, none of the flames went out, making me question, did they use a gas line for this installation? Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas. This fire exhibit left me entranced. Of course, I couldn't resist doing some slow-mo. It's astonishing how mesmerizing the movement of fire is we just get sucked in the dancing of the flames. I noticed even the toilet sign embraced the theme. Perfectly on brand with the event. By the way, I'm currently immersed in editing the amazing footage from my previous adventure across France, Spain, and Greece. If you're eager to join me in these incredible locations, you can do so by flushing that subscribe button. Now, let's dive right back into the captivating exhibit at Lightscape. The best part is yet to come. A highlight of the journey was the water show, where the water itself transformed into a captivating dance of lights and colors. Reminiscent of a magnificent fireworks display, but without the traditional fire. Yet, the experience left me with the same sense of wonder and satisfaction. As if I had just witnessed a breathtaking fireworks show. Although... Soaked! <laughs> the wind was actually blowing towards me, so I got soaked. <laughs> but that was fun, that was so cool. And remember that mysterious UFO-like design we spotted earlier? I finally got up close and personal with that little wonder. It was such a treat to explore all the intricate details up close, and their impact is undeniable. Each installation is thoughtfully designed, and the play of lights and shadows adds a touch of magic that's hard to put into words. As I turned the corner, 
I was met with an awe-inspiring sight, the Winter Cathedral. I couldn't help but stand in awe, as if time had frozen to let me fully appreciate the wonder before my eye. The name itself perfectly captures the grandeur of this installation. And let me tell you, it's a sight to behold. The atmosphere here was electric, with everyone around me taking their time to savor every moment. If Lightscape were a show, this place would be its climax. Every inch of Lightscape has been carefully curated, and it's evident that the curators have invested an enormous amount of thought and effort into perfecting each detail. From small surprises to breathtaking spectacles, the journey through Lightscape is unforgettable. I just finished Lightscape. That was so cool. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. But I'm so hungry though, I haven't eaten yet. It's almost 8 p.m. There's still so many people going in. See, this is the entrance. There's so many people going in. <sighs> but I'm so hungry. I'm so excited to eat. Alright, see you guys later. If you find yourself in Melbourne during winter next year, don't miss the opportunity to experience Lightscape for yourself. And if you enjoy videos like this, check out my other videos. Like this video about the five mind-blowing reasons why La Machine in Toulouse, France should be on your bucket list. Till next time, ciao!